just to take safety up to the next level to try and push the boundary of what is possible. Uh, we've developed the new safe to pass. With Sport with Safety Shield, can your AI cameras yep. detect vehicles yep. that when I come up to the back of a machine? Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at the Bramford training facility for Lynch with James. James, you are head of sales for Lynch and what's really interesting about today is you're on this journey of safety. AI, thumbs up, is something we reported on from Lynch before and now we've gone another step further and we've got, if you can see it folks, a red stop sign looks a little bit like a truck at the reverse of the actual machine here this is a demo machine that they use here and obviously we've got a vehicle there that means james we've gone a step further haven't we we're not just thumbs up anymore we're thumbs up to cars aren't we we are yeah so uh, along with safety shield uh, obviously a trusted partner for us when it comes to safety systems uh, we've developed the new safe to pass uh, so that enables people to drive a safe distance up to a machine that is working. Uh, it will give a, a visual, an audible alarm to the operator uh, and then they'll be able to uh, again press the button within the cab to let the uh, operator of the vehicle know that it's now safe to pass. And folks, this is actually the first time it's ever been demonstrated in the UK. This is a collaboration between you and Costain because you actually went to Costain and said, look, we've got the thumbs up. What do you want to see next, didn't you? Yeah, so th this is an idea that uh, stems back maybe four or five years uh, with Costain themselves. So they've always had um, some, some challenges around passing plant that's working safely. They came to us and trusted us to, to find a solution to this challenge. We're very fortunate to have a, a partner for safety systems that we trust in uh, Safety Shield. So um, again, through working with them and collaborating, uh, we believe we've come up with an idea that, that ticks all of their requirements. Um, and I think we proved that today. It's so important that you all are on the same page when it comes to safety and, and have that sort of ability to look at the development of a system like that, isn't it? No, very much so. And the A12, and we have some, um, some really exciting people who are trying to just push the envelope of what we can and can't do. So taking all our team and say the experts on a journey to say, actually, there's a smarter way of going to work. There's a safer way of going to work. Plants has been with us for years. It's just how do we work with it smarter? So what we try and work with our team is, is just, just to take safety up to the next level, to try and push the boundary of what is possible. These things kill people. Yep. We, we must do things differently. Yep. And so this is another idea of trying to keep our people, our operatives, even people approaching a better kit from the rear, put them in a safer place to be and obviously put the operative who's in the machine actually in control of what's going on. So he's not blindsided by people approaching his better kit. Doesn't it? it's, it's been a really exciting thing, you know, that from word go 2009, you know, yep. first, you know, red zone first came in. Um, so it's come on from there, from a lot, from the, all the training that I've done, up to the A14, where we wanted to adapt it for more things. Uh, we've come from there now to the A12, where we've got the thumbs up. We've got um, all the red zone uh, areas around there, which will accommodate to suit what Costains want, you know, out of it. Where other companies are, you know, doing it different than what we are, but we still believe in the concept of the original red zone training that should be the full swing radius of the machine. We had a an issue on the A14, yep. that we were driving up the whole road, coming behind a working machine, you know, we were sat there, we were pipping air on, we were flashing our lights, but the machine driver couldn't hear us. Yep. You know, he's working away, he's concentrating on what his bucket's doing, he's got the noise of the engine, so he might be sat there. And then you get old people wanting to creep round him, to try and get his view and pip the on and so on. Well, we wanted to stop that. We yep. wanted to make it safe for everybody to pass. So we, we spoke with Safety Shield, can your AI cameras Yep. detect vehicles yep. that when I come up to the back of a machine, it detects me to tell me that I'm there. Yep. It lets the driver know that I'm there. And then the driver can just simply press the button to say, it's safe to pass. Yep. All changes to green, I can drive past. The driver see me go past, he's off to work again, and we can carry on doing our job. We believe we're a, a leader in our industry when it comes to safety. We're always pushing forward. As much as we may see improvements, there's always something more that can be done. So to add this extra layer and just to enhance that uh, you know, extra feature for the site and the project um, is something that we're very proud of. So we can all go home at the end of this sunny day like today. James, great to finally meet you. Thank Cheers. You. Great to meet you today. Cheers. Great to meet you. Cheers. Thank you, Thank you very much, Nick. Thank you.